Welcome to the ECDL word processing module section 3.1.6. Here we need to understand how to apply automatic hyphenation. Now the first question that uh, many students ask is what on earth is hyphenation? If you've uh, been reading a book and I'm assuming that you have done um, then you'll notice that at the end of some lines a word is split so that half the word appears at the end of the line, then there's a little hyphen, a little minus sign or a dash, and the rest of the word is written on the next line. That is hyphenation. The point of it is generally to improve the appearance of the right-hand side of the text. You can see that this text here, which um, is an extract from Jean-Paul Sartre, the right-hand side of the text is quite jagged, it's quite rough. Now, we don't um, use full justification. Don't worry about how to do this uh, if you're not sure about full justification. But if you are aware of what full justification is, this is not good. It looks smart, it looks professional, yes. It's actually awful to read. Uh, that's why most books do not have text fully justified, uh, because it's actually harder to read. Uh, especially when it's a block of text, a whole page of text. But at the same time, this rough, ragged right-hand edge to this particular bit of text here um, isn't terribly tidy either. It's, it's a waste of space, um, and, and that's something which can be improved using uh, hyphenation. So the thing to remember here is that this is not a formatting change to the font. This affects the overall layout of the text on the page. By tightening up, by tidying up this right-hand margin, uh, you are improving the overall page layout. And I'm saying it like that for a reason, because that will hopefully help you to remember that hyphenation is in the page layout tab. So if you can remember that hyphenation affects the overall page layout, the appearance of text on the page, you know to head up to page layout. So the page layout tab here at the top, once you've clicked on that, it becomes fairly obvious where hyphenation is. Here it is. If we click on this, we can see uh, three main options. The only two you have to worry about are none and automatic, or at least the only two you have to worry about for the ECDL exam are none and automatic. None is the default, that's what Word normally uh, applies, so it's not doing any hyphenation at all. I'm going to click on automatic, but what I want you to watch is not me clicking on this button here, automatic. I want you to look at this right hand edge of the text and see the effect that hyphenation has on it. So I'm going to click this button here. And although it's not massive, uh, the change, hopefully what you can see is it is definitely tidier. There is less jaggedness, less roughness on that right hand edge. Let me switch it back from automatic to none. And again, you can see the difference. All right, it's not mind numbingly different, but there is a difference and it can improve the appearance of the text. Let's put it back on again. Let's switch it to automatic. And we can see that here we've got the word didn't, which has been hyphenated. So we've got did, hyphen, and then the unt on the next line. Um, here we have the word because that's been hyphenated. So the be, hyphen, and then the cause bit at the bottom. And then again, personality here has been hyphenated. And we can see all the way down uh, the text. We've got a lot of words hyphenated on the right hand side. Now you can change the settings so you can um, affect the uh, the settings and how much it hyphenates, how much space it allows, but you certainly don't have to worry about anything like that for an ECDL exam. By all means if you're interested have a look at this, but all you need to worry about for the exam is either setting automatic hyphenation on, which means going into hyphenation and selecting automatic, or taking hyphenation off, which simply means clicking none. So just remember that this is not a paragraphing or a text formatting option. This is now to do with the overall layout of the page. So therefore, it's page layout that you want.